Uh, good morning one more time. It's your boy Nodi Mule are doing my thing my way. So what I will, I will be discussing this morning is the real reasons behind Western military interventions in Africa, in Asia, in the Middle East, you name the rest. First of all, I want to highlight or enumerate the reasons they always give. The reason is, the first one they always talk of, uh, they want to enforce democracy. They are going for democracy. Another reason they used to give is, they are going for, for human rights. They are going for human rights, democracy, and uh, they are going to, uh, to give uh, opportunities to the girl child. The main reason is democracy. They want to install democracy. They want to ensure that uh, uh, human rights are respected. Human rights and justice is respected. That is the, the reason. They always give in all their military intervention. But I want you to understand this thing. You are of age. Nobody should deceive you. Europe, America, and all their other uh, partners in crimes, they are mean, the main purpose that they intervene militarily is for the resources of this nation. It's for geopolitical reasons. Either to station their troops, to spy on those nations, to gather information, to use that information against any nation of their choice. They can use their information against you to topple a government and to put another a puppet in place. They can use it to locate where there are natural resources and when they discover it, what do, you, what do they do? They do everything possible to create chaos in that place and to get lay hands on these resources. So I will take a few ex examples of the military intervention. They intervened in Iraq. They said Saddam Hussein had uh, weapons of mass destruction. At the end of the day, they didn't see anything, but they destroyed, they killed Saddam Hussein, they ransacked the whole uh, country, they destroyed, they killed close to two million, they destroyed close to two million lives. Or let me say, more than one million lives. But the real reason wasn't that they're going to install democracy. Why is the democracy in Iraq? The real reason was the oil of Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein decided to sell its oil in euro and not in dollar. And this was to deal a powerful blow on the American economy. So they had to take Saddam out. I take another example, example of Syria. They went to Syria. What democracy? If you go to the Middle East, one of the most democratic country in the Middle East is Syria. One of the countries where women are very free to wear what they want to wear without any constraint is Syria. Yet, they decided because of the oil and gas that Assad had, they were trying to lay their hands on it. So they decided to, to destroy Syria. If it wasn't for the intervention of Mr. Putin, Syria would have been a forgotten, a forgotten country. We keep that one aside. They went to, to Libya. They said, uh, the, the leader of Libya, Kenan Mama Gaddafi, is a threat to his people, there are no human rights, he's killing his own people, blah, 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 blah. They intervened in Libya, but their main aim was to kill, to remove, uh, to destroy Mama Gaddafi, because they were eyeing the oil and his stockpile of gold. As some estimate put it, close to 200 tons of gold but the main reason they took out the leader of the african revolution mama gaddafi is because mama gaddafi was putting in place plans to create an african currency which would be backed by natural resources like gold they wanted to create an african currency which would be stronger than the dollar the pound and the euro so they had to destroy him they said they wanted to they are going for democracy and human rights. So today, ask yourself, where is democracy and human rights in Libya? Where is democracy and human rights in Libya? Libya is the only country 
that has no debt libya had no debt is owing nobody in libya light is free water is free hospital bills are free education is free so what do they want what freedom again do they want water is free light is free health uh, health care is free and in libya if you're a newly married couple the government gives you an apartment on your wedding day they give you an apartment and 50 uh, uh, um, they give you a check of fifty thousand dollars to start life if you want to study abroad the government sponsors everything if you complete for example you complete you are training you are a professional and say you were supposed to be paid two thousand euros and you are looking for a job the government will take charge giving you a thousand euro until the day you get a job so what's the democracy they were talking about everything was okay in libya the people were living very well yet they went and killed Gaddafi. They went to the Middle East and brought a lot of terror, terror east. And pumped into Libya and destroyed him, ransacked everything. His gold reserves, his uh, stockpile of gold. We don't find it. Where is it? Ask the Americans, ask the French, ask the British, ask the European Union, ask uh, NATO. They killed him. So where is democracy? And from there, those very criminals and the guns moved down to the Sahel, wreaking havoc in Mali, wreaking havoc in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger. Where has they, have they ever intervened? And at the end of the day, there is democracy, peace, and unity, and equal right. What you need to understand is, Western intervention has nothing to do with democracy has nothing to do with human rights, has nothing to do with the right of uh, the, uh, the, the woman, uh, the, the girl child. The main reason for their military intervention is, geo, is geopolitics. Their main reason is about your natural resources. They are coming for your natural resources. They are coming to gather information which will enable them to locate where natural resources are, create chaos, drive you out, Steal the natural resources. Wake up Africa. Have a nice day. It's our boy Enom Demule, militant for justice.